What's going on, guys? I knew this looked good to some of y'all, right? Y'all know alcohol bad for you. You didn't know that. You didn't know, now you know. Why would you drink poison? Really, nigga? Alcohol is a poison to a human. To most of anything, when you consume it, so why would you drink it? Because it make you feel good. Cause it make you feel good. That's my southern voice. <laughs> but y'all look, I partake in the poison too. Too much not into this poison. Is that open? No, this is, let me see. Oh yeah, that's open. I drunk a little bit of that. I think I had this since last year, y'all. Since like uh, October, November, October, I think. I don't remember. I had it for a while. All right. And I didn't buy it, so eh. let me let me tell you what happens when you stop drinking alcohol, y'all. Now, just listen. I ain't trying to sway you to stop it. Just listen. Stop it. Get some help. Put it down. Just listen. Matter of fact, keep drinking it. Just listen at the same time. <laughs> because if you like most people, you probably enjoy occasional alcoholic beverage, whether it's a glass of wine with a dinner. Couple of beers while watching the game. Alcohol can be an enjoyable way to relax and just to socialize with everybody. I mean, because you can get real sociable when you're drinking. There are also many people who struggle with alcohol abuse and addiction, the weak ones. Now, my hand shouldn't be in this video, y'all. Take it out forever. Now, uh, I ain't gonna say they weak. Because, you know, it's a drug and it, it gets you. You know, I, I've been drinking alcohol for... Whoosh, whoosh. I think my first bit of alcohol come in the 70s. Jesus Christ. And I've been drinking pretty much daily since... uh, Let's see. Maybe 90... Five? Four? 95? Something like that. Been drinking daily. But sometimes I give it a rest, like for a week. I only gave it a rest for like two weeks at one time, but I normally give it a rest for like a week sometimes, you know, here and there. And that shows myself that I ain't addicted. Right? I mean, should. Alright, this is what happens when you stop drinking. When you want to give up alcohol, after day one, the first day. Now, I ain't, this ain't all for me, y'all. This is off, uh, it's, it's some medical stuff, y'all. Day one, it's the hardest day. Because you think it like, oh, man, I want that. Oh, man, don't let nobody do it around you. No commercial come on. Ooh, ooh. Uh, but it's also an important milestone. After 24 hours without alcohol, your body will start to de detoxify. And you might get some withdrawal symptoms. You know? And you just got to think in your head, this is only temporary. It's only temporary, which is hard to still fight it now. And those feelings would normally go away after a few days. But if you're a person with severe alcohol dependence, however, withdrawal symptoms can be more severe and may require medical attention. You'll have the shakes and all that type stuff and think you ain't gonna make it. It'll start, you'll get pains and stuff. Alright, after day three, you'll start to feel more like yourself. However, if you have been drinking heavily for a long period of time, you may still experience some of them symptoms of withdrawal. You may hallucinate or get it is two hours, 30 minutes. what's called delirium tremens. If you ever heard somebody say the DTs, it's called delirium tremens. And you might gotta talk to your doctor, you know. You know, I don't. It's up to you. And somebody said, "Oh, he got the DTs, he got the shakes." After a whole week with no alcohol, your risk of developing cardiovascular disease will start to decrease. That's because alcohol can increase your blood pressure. Some of y'all might have problems with your blood pressure. It may make your heart work hard. And in the coming weeks, your liver will also begin to repair itself yeah 
you ain't got the cirrhosis or whatever, you can you you got help. You got a chance right there. After a month, oh yeah. And your liver is very important, y'all. So if you ever get good, you know, you can get all kind of other kind of stuff like clear face, clear skin, all that stuff. A month after no alcohol. Uh that's when people start to feel their best. That's when they start telling everybody that uh you know, I ain't drunk this and that, that and this, and I feel good. They still can get got give up now. It ain't, it ain't gone. It ain't over. Uh, most physical withdrawal symptoms should have subsided, and you should start to feel less anxious and more positive. Especially if you get some, uh, what you call it, uh, compliments from people like, oh, man, your skin looking clear. You got more energy. What is, what you been doing? You be like, ha, ha, ha. After six months, y'all, half of the year without drinking. You start to reap the rewards. Your risk of developing cancer will decrease now. Your liver function will have greatly improved. You will also have more energy and stamina, which for some guys, you might you could perform better in bed. You may know that your skin looks healthier, you know. After one year, congrats on making that one year. It was hard now. At this point, the risk of developing all types of disease will reduce, all of them. And your bone density will start to increase, depending on your age now. Uh, keep in mind that everyone is different. You're experiencing different things when you stop drinking. So, like I said, it all depends on your age too. And, and, and after you stop drinking alcohol, your body will start to detox. And you know, you can get all the withdrawal, anxiety, sweat, nausea. And you think, oh man, I'm going to die. No, you're going to live. Trust me. And uh, when you stop, you can have trouble sleeping. And that's going to all go away too. You know, just, just, just hang in there. Just hang in there. Because alcohol is a sedative, y'all. And what happens is, a lot of times, when you're drinking alcohol and at like night, like late night, you can go to sleep real good, but sometimes you can wake up in a cold sweat or whatever you want to call it because when the alcohol starts going away, you get hot and that can wake you up. So think about that. So if you like drinking, a lot of times it's like good to stop drinking at a certain time before bed to let your body acclimate to getting back to where it need to be. And you know, when you're drinking alcohol, it can make you eat a lot too. So you can get bigger. It ain't about the alcohol, which sometimes it is, like I said, late night stuff. Just think about some of these beers have like a hundred and some calories, and you're drinking 100, 200, 300, 400. That's four beers, 400 and some calories. Right before bed, now you sleep on those calories. Um, and you know, a lot of stuff will go away with you about cravings and food when you stop it. Uh, you may feel uh, irritable. You know, because it's, it's, it's bothering you. You got mood swings and all that. And then when your liver starts to repair itself and everything, every, everything will start coming back to play. All those diseases, like I said, your skin, you get more energy, you're going to think clearly. You even feel happier. Like I said, it's about somebody telling you certain things. It'll, it'll help. It'll help now. And then... Another thing, it'll go in your pocket. You're not buying all this alcohol, so that's a raise. You got a raise in money. That's going to be money in your pocket. Same way with cigarettes and other stuff. You stop spending it on that, that stays in your pocket. And in all in all, it may help you live longer. And you'll be able to do a lot of more things. And then if you got a bad attitude in your relationship, stop drinking will help you out in your relationship. So... What I'm saying, y'all, right here, just to, just to top this off, it ain't me quitting drinking. So don't say, oh, man, you quit drinking. Don't say, well, you need to stop drinking. Too. I ain't trying to tell you to stop. I'm trying to tell you the benefits if you stop what you will reap or what you will get, anything. Just, this, that's what'll happen. And it's not all about that right there in front. I mean, that, in the alcohol. So... Just think about it. 
I'm drinking right now. <laughs> 10 minutes.